Rich, you trying to sell a car? It's always a thought in the back of my mind. Well, one way you could do it now is uh, by going on to sellanycar.com. Uh, it's a, a new way to sell cars, and it is actually quite a complicated process, but it's very innovative. And I spoke to Saigin Yelchin, who is the founder and CEO of uh, sellanycar.com, and I asked him to explain to, uh, to Dubai Eye and the listeners exactly what it does. Sellanycar.com is the Middle East's first and largest car buying service. So what we do is we give you an, uh, a website which actually gives you an instant valuation on your car, which takes approximately 15 seconds. When you've seen the valuation of your car, which is an approximate uh, approximation of your car value, you can book an appointment for a free car inspection in one of our nationwide branches. Actually, we're now live in five countries. So uh, when you come to that inspection, uh, we guarantee to purchase any car within 30 minutes. So, so what happens there actually is uh, interesting. So you have an inspection, obviously, which takes approximately 18 minutes, and we will then do a live market research for your car as well, and we ourselves will bid on your car internally. We will also allow all industry market participants, like dealers, traders, fleet purchasers, automotive companies, to actually... Uh, bid on your car as well. So we can identify the highest possible rate any business can pay for your car. And then we will uh, offer it to the consumer and you have the choice to accept it or not. It's totally no obligation, 100% free. And, uh, more importantly, sellanycar.com is always the entity who buys your car and pays you. We do not broker any deals. So if you own the cars, I mean, the headline story here is that you're looking for 100 million US dollars in capital from US venture capitalists. Now, you can buy an awful lot of cars with that. How many are you planning to buy? So the $100 million, actually, we are, uh, which was announced in the press, uh, which we're planning to raise, is actually not only for buying cars. Obviously, a certain piece of it is for working capital, while we, as I said, have raised... Uh, money before. This is not a surprising amount for us or a shocking amount uh, uh, for us. More importantly, this amount of money usually does not go for working capital. Mostly, it mostly goes for marketing and, and building a world-class team and, uh, and uh, infrastructure in those active markets we are in and the markets we are planning to open up. So uh, usually around 10 to 15 percent goes to uh, working capital at most. So the 85% will go into buying cars? No, we'll go into marketing, we'll go into geographical expansion, we'll go into team building products and system developments. But how much is going to be spent on buying cars of that $100 million? I mean, It really depends on the growth and the ramp up we have, but usually we have a turnover time for uh, our business model, which is really low, around two days. If you compare it to the regular automotive trade, a usual used car trader, has a uh, turnover time of up to 80 days, so 60 to 80 days is the average. So what that means still is a thousands or thousands of cars because we still need to pre-finance our cars. But I mean, I don't mean to be skeptical about this, but if it was a U.S. venture capitalist, I'd say, well, hang on a minute, you know, what I'm putting $100 million, not a small amount of money, into a second-hand car company, and yet only a small amount of the $100 million I'm giving you is going to be spent on stock. Your actual value of your assets is going to be very small compared to the $100 million that I've given you. So you need to look at the working capital as a reoccurring expenditure. So every two, three days we will have to spend a significant amount of cars. However, we get it back because we are able to turn it extremely fast. We are not a used car company. We do not consider ourselves as a trader of cars. We actually consider ourselves as a technology company, a marketplace which happens to work in the used car industry. And we've turned to become the uh, largest used car trader in the country already. You might call yourself a, a technology marketplace, but the mere fact is you will own a whole bunch of second-hand cars. Who's going to buy them? So, as I mentioned before, we are actually uh, building a marketplace of uh, distribution channels such as dealers, wholesalers, traders, fleet companies, any automotive company who are buying cars in bulk. So these are our partners we're dealing with and we do not sell any car to the consumers. So we actually do not sell back the cars, we actually keep them for the professionals only.
So if you're, in other words, a, very much a middleman, you buy my car and you're selling on to a dealer, and dealers usually want to squeeze the, the, the lowest prices out of the people they're buying the cars from, you must be offering me a way below market rate for my car. A very good point. So actually, exactly to avoid that, Salonicar has been... Uh, sellanycar.com has been founded because we believe we became the voice of the consumer. Now, you can imagine when the consumer comes to us and we are basically buying your car and we do not broker cars, so we do not become a middleman here. We buy cars. Then we go to the uh, trade and say, first of all, we have done the marketing for you. We have done the inspection for you. You have labor costs, which are less now. Uh, you don't have any marketing costs. And more importantly, we are solving your volume issues. So at the end of the day, we have a much better cloud to identify the real best prices. More importantly, a marketplace always uh, ends up with the fairest price possible because anyone who's not really bidding a fair price will simply be outbid by us or by others. Having said that, this is actually what um, makes us the, uh, able to buy a car at the fairest price possible a business can pay. Now, my understanding of fleet buying is that you tend to buy new cars of one, one or two brands. You don't go right across the, the whole sort of car making spectrum. And you just opened up in Germany last week, which is one of your five markets in which you're open at the moment. And Germany, I'm sure that it's, it's the same there, that fleet buying will be looking for newish cars or new cars of just one or two brands. Are you going to have the volume to, to deliver in a market like that? So that's really important because the marketplace actually does not require the participants on the industry side to buy any car. They actually still consider uh, themselves as specialists and they will only basically participate when that specific car comes in. So what we're doing is we're finding a specialist and the best distribution channel automatically for your car. So having said that, we do not require any participant to be broad in their purchase behavior. So we will just be broad and then find the best distribution channel. Now, venture capitalists are pretty hungry people. They're going to ask for quite a bit of equity in your company for giving you $100 million, if you can find it. Uh, how much are you prepared to give away? I mean, we've been in the venture capital scene for several years now. We, uh, we are uh, aware of the fact that dilution happens. However, we've been able to avoid it in a significant manner by staging certain rounds and by actually growing the company by stages and then uh, raise accordingly. So having said that, we believe that, uh, yes, a significant amount of the company will be given away. However, we still control our companies. But you, you've come from a background with Souk.com, Jabbar Internet, Sukar.com, and these are well-known names in the internet online market a place. Uh, why would you not have gone to a local bank who know you personally, your name is associated with these companies as founder, um, why would you not have gone to a bank, taken a lower amount of money, not given away any equity, and just grown organically, which you mentioned a, a moment ago that you want to grow organically, why wouldn't you accept a lower amount? I mean, $100 million is an awful lot of money. Very good point. In terms of banks, it's, it might solve your issues in terms of greenfield and seed investment. Anything beyond that will be difficult to, uh, to raise in terms of uh, debt financing from banks because only 2% of the loan book of Middle Eastern regional banks will actually go to SMEs. And I'm talking SMEs uh, 250, that means uh, companies with less than 250 employees. Any startup, by definition, does not have any financial history with the bank. So it will be very unrealistic to be able to raise uh, enough money from regional banks in, uh, in a startup, and there's no credit scoring system they can rely on. Now, you obviously are going to be buying a lot of cars, and you might have thousands and thousands under your own name at any one time, and you've got to keep those cars until they're bought. You've actually paid a cash price for those. What happens if the car prices drop, because it is a fluctuating market? Should there be another downturn? How are you going to cope with change of prices? So we have a very fast turnover time, so it usually takes uh, around a day or two until we have uh, identified the best uh, channel for the car to sell through. So we are actually very much protected against uh, downturns in the market. Uh, second, if uh, the market should um, go through a recession, which uh, actually this business model has proven to be recession-proof, uh, then we will just adjust 
the prices, basically, this is what happens in a recession. You don't actually use less cars in a crisis or a recession. What you actually do is the, the market values of each car gets reduced. This is what uh, we have seen in the past. It's a very interesting and ambitious business plan. I wish you all the best with raising your finance. Sagin Yalchin, founder and CEO of SellerAnyCar.com. Good luck with your business and thank you. Thank you very much.